Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm about to do a reaction to 22 Voods that you're eating the wrong way. So let's get into the video. Now. Foods, you're eating the wrong way. Number one. Taking a salad to work. Many people who are trying to eat healthy take a salad to work rather than bringing a sandwich. You should put your salad in a mason jar. You can make your salad and put your dressing on the bottom. This will keep the lettuce from getting soggy. Since the mason jar has a cover, all you would need to do is shake the jar when you're ready to eat, and you'll have a delicious dressed salad. Number two, give the lettuce in your tacos a purpose. Most people make a taco and they put shredded lettuce on the top. This is a mistake. When you bite into the taco, the filling often spills out onto the plate, lettuce and all. If you use a leaf of lettuce, you can put your filling in the lettuce and then in the shell. This will keep everything intact while you're eating your taco. Number three, the best way to eat a cupcake. Most people find the frosting on the cupcake to be the best part. Since you cannot fit a whole cupcake in your mouth, you often eat from the top, finishing the frosting before you get to the rest of the cake. If you rip the top off your cupcake and turn it upside down, you'll have frosting in every single bite. Cupcake sandwich, anyone? Number four, cooking your hot dogs. Most people take their hot dogs and put them on the grill as is. This is a mistake. If you slice your hot dogs in spirals, they will heat evenly through. The cuts will also give them a pretty cool appearance. Number five, take a long taco salad. Most people who love tacos have to wait until they have time to eat them at home. There is a way that you can make your tacos and take them with you. Start by preparing the meat mixture, your veggies, and get your cheese ready. Take a single serving bag of Fritos and pour all of the contents into the bag over the Fritos. This way, you can enjoy a taco on the go. Number six, heating leftover pizza. Pizza is delicious when it's delivered to your home, and it can be just as good the next day when it's reheated. Most people will reheat. Wait a second, so are they trying to make that into like a waffle? Hmm. Eat their pizza in the microwave. This will make the pizza hot, but it will also make the crust soggy. If you want a hot, crispy pizza, reheat it in a waffle iron. Not only will it give you a hot, crispy piece of pizza, it'll also look pretty cool. Number seven, easiest way to make hash browns. If you love hash browns but hate going through the trouble of making them, there is an easier way. After you've shredded your potatoes, place them in a waffle iron and allow them to cook. They will cook through and come out crispy. Also, they will have a waffle-like design. Number eight, a more hearty cinnamon roll. Many people love to make cinnamon rolls for breakfast. The store-bought kind... That is so true. I don't know, I'll be eating cinnamon rolls. Mmm. Them cinnamon rolls be good, to be honest. Let's get back. 22. They are delicious and very easy to make. If you want to add more flavor to your cinnamon rolls and make a more hearty breakfast, add bacon. Simply unroll the cinnamon roll and lay a piece of bacon over it and then roll it back up. It'll be a welcome surprise for your family's breakfast. Number nine. Give your French toast a kick. Many people love French toast for breakfast. The traditional way to make this delicious breakfast treat is to dip a piece of bread in an egg yolk and fry it up. If you want to add some sweetness to your French toast, you can crumble a handful of cinnamon toast crunch and mix it into the egg yolk before you dip your bread. The sweetness and flavor that the cereal adds will make the extra step worth it. Number 10, add some flavor to your iced coffee. The worst part of drinking an iced coffee is when the ice melts and your coffee gets watered down. Since the ice melting is inevitable, you can use it to your advantage. Crum Do you see that they have Oreos, milk, ice tray. So make ice Oreos with milk and put them in coffee. To be honest, that's really clever. Snack hacks, cool. Pull up Oreo cookies and put the crumbs in an ice cube tray. Next, cover the Oreos with milk and put the tray in the freezer. When the milk freezes,
freezes, you can use it for the ice in your iced coffee. When the ice starts to melt, it'll give your coffee more flavor rather than watering it down. Number 11. Easiest way to serve ice cream. Birthday parties are always a lot of fun. If you're the host, however, they can be a lot of work. If you're serving ice cream with the birthday cake, cutting it is much faster than scooping. Simply open the ice cream container and lay it out on a cutting board. Using a knife, cut slices of ice cream. It's much quicker and neater. Number 12. Sandwiches. A piece of meat in every bite. Because most prepackaged lunch meats are round and the bread is square, you likely won't get a piece of meat in every bite. If you know how to place the meat, however, you won't feel the need to cut off the crust. Take two pieces of lunch meat and tear them in half. Place the two halves of the first piece of meat at the top and bottom of the bread. Take the second two pieces and place it on the left and right side of the bread. This way, you will have meat in every single bite. Number 13. Eating. That was really clever. Whoever came up with that was smart. On the run. People with busy lives often need to eat on the go, which often means they'll be having fast food. If you like ketchup with your fries, you can pour it out in a drink container. This will make dipping the fries easy and you won't make a huge mess in the car. Number 14. Store-bought pastry dough has many uses. You can use store-bought pastry dough to make many snacks on the go. This dough can be filled with taco filling to make easy take-along tacos. You can fill them with chocolate and marshmallows to make a sweet snack. You can put just about anything in the pastry dough and bake it for a short time to make your favorite snack. Number 15. Simple, delicious cheesy bread. To make the best cheesy bread, buy a loaf of bakery bread. Cut it in slices going both ways. Next, cut cheese into slices and use it to fill in the cracks. Add herbs to the bread and bake it in the oven. When the bread is done, the cheese will be melted and it will make a delicious... Who has the time to do all of that to make cheesy bread? Who? Anyone? Leave your comments. It's appetizer. Number 16. The best way to peel a mango. Peeling a mango can be messy, but if you have a good beer mug, it can be much easier. Start by cutting your mango in half. Push the area between the mango and the skin against the beer mug and push down. The mango will go into the glass and the peel can be thrown away. Number 17. Delicious homemade frozen treat. If you're craving something cold and sweet, you can make your own treats at home. Take a few Oreos and dip them in milk. Place them in a freezer bag and put them in the freezer. After a couple of hours, they will be frozen and ready to eat. Number 18. So they pretty much making those, them, um, I forget what they call, but you know, it'd be like them big Oreos. If you go to like a gas station or something, that'd be good. I might have to try that. Hopefully it's the same way. Eating Chinese food is easier than you may have thought. Of the 22 foods you're eating the wrong way, this is the one that is so obvious that most people don't know about it. Most people order their takeout Chinese food, go home, and put it in a bowl to eat. What most people don't know is that this is not necessary. The takeout carton can actually be turned into a plate. By opening the carton at the... How many people actually knew that? Because I did. So... Like, that, that's, that is pretty impressive, but I know a lot of people that don't know about that. They just take it out and, like, put it on plates and bowls and stuff. But if you didn't know, leave it in the comments. So, you know, hashtag I knew. Folds, the whole thing will open up into a plate to enjoy your food on without dirtying a dish. Number 19. New idea for pancakes. If you like your pancakes with a side of bacon, you can enjoy your bacon in your pancakes instead. When you make your pancake batter, simply dip the bacon in the batter and then make your pancakes. The result will be a pancake with a slice of bacon baked right into the middle. Number 20. Easy Loaded Baked Potato. 
if you love your baked potatoes with all the fixings, you can bake them right into the potato. Start by making slices into the raw potato. Next, fill in the slices. Once again, who has the time to cut slices? Well, I understand, like, you have to do that, but hold on. With slices of cheese, sour cream, and bacon bits. Top the potato with shredded cheese and bake it in the oven. The results will be a loaded mashed potato with all the best things baked right in. That, Number 20. That looks nasty. Did you see how... Ugh. One, make your pasta interesting. Two very popular foods are pasta and hot dogs. If you want to make your dinner creative, start by cutting the hot dogs into slices. Next, stab several pieces of dry spaghetti through the hot dogs. Put them in a pan of water and cook until the pasta is tender. The final result will be pasta coming through the hot dogs, which honestly looks pretty cool. I gotta admit that those are pretty cool. Number 22, eating Toblerone. Most people who eat this chocolate bar with hill-shaped pieces find that their fingers get covered with chocolate while trying to break off a piece. This is because they're not doing it right. To eat this delicious candy, you take your thumb and push at the top of the triangle down. The chocolate will snap off easily and your fingers won't get dirty. Alright, for the people that are new to the channel, please subscribe, check out my other videos, Leave a like, put a comment in it. Ugh. Drop a like and leave a comment. And for the people who are subscribed to me or just, you know, roaming around through my videos, how many of you knew some of these things? And didn't know some of these things. That's what I was trying to say. My bad. Shout out to Moon Wolf, no, Wolf Mars, Wolf Mars, I'm sorry. Shout out to Wolf Mars, b or Junebug6202, White Mumba24, and that's, that's, yeah, no, and I'm Austin. Those are the four people, my bad. What did I say, five? I, I, I already forget, my bad. Peace out, guys, have a nice day.